Hello, welcome to the unit on delivery. In this video, you will learn about the different methods of delivery. Today, you will learn about the impact proper delivery choices will have on your speech. You will learn about the three types of delivery modes to choose from. And finally, the pros and cons of each of these modes. Before we begin to understand these three choices, we first need to properly understand how important delivery is to our overall speech. Just because you've created a well-organized speech, complete with solid research, doesn't mean that you will present an excellent presentation. In order to combine the right blend of the written word and the spoken word, all speakers must be aware of the skills of delivery that should be mastered in order to make your best presentation. Delivery is broken down into three components, modes of delivery, vocal delivery skills, and nonverbal or physical delivery skills. The first step in creating your solid delivery is to determine the right mode of delivery. We will learn in this video about the three modes of delivery, reading from a manuscript, memorizing from a manuscript, and extemporaneous delivery. Please keep in mind, however, even though we will be learning about the three modes of delivery, for this course, your public speaking professor requires you to utilize extemporaneous delivery for your speeches. The first mode of delivery to consider is reading from a manuscript. This is when you read directly from a scripted or typed speech. As with all modes of delivery, reading from a manuscript has its own sets of pros and cons. The pros for reading from a manuscript include, this is a good mode for formal occasions where the use of exact word choices is critical to the message. In addition, reading from a manuscript ensures less of a chance of confusing your content. It virtually eliminates awkward pauses and verbal fillers. And finally, reading from a manuscript requires less preparation and practice time. The biggest disadvantage in reading from a manuscript is that it limits a speaker's eye contact with the audience and as a result prohibits the ability to react to audience feedback. Also, reading from a manuscript can make the speaker present in a monotone, disconnected, and uninterested manner. The second mode of delivery to consider is memorizing from a manuscript. This is when a speaker memorizes a prepared script word for word. As with reading from a manuscript, memorizing from a manuscript has its own set of pros and cons. The pros of memorizing from a manuscript include the ability to maintain exact word choice, an ability to maintain eye contact with the audience, and the ability to interact with your visual aids. Keep in mind, however, that this mode of delivery is effective if the speaker is a skilled orator with finesse delivery skills. In addition to considering the pros of manuscript memorization, there are some cons that need to be considered as well. Memorizing a manuscript is a very time-consuming mode in terms of preparation and practice, and this can lead to an unnatural, disconnected presentation where it is difficult to respond to audience feedback. As a matter of fact, this can come across in a robotic nature. Finally, memorizing a manuscript can also lead to potential for blank out. Our final mode of delivery to consider is speaking from an outline. While this mode can be seen as an umbrella for two methods, impromptu and extemporaneous speaking, we will focus our attention on extemporaneous. Extemporaneous speaking is when you plan and prepare your speech using an outline. You then learn and practice your speech content from that outline. Then you present your speech in a conversational manner using an outline for reference. This is not memorization of the material. However, with right practice methods, this mode will allow the speaker to internalize the materials within the speech, and that internalization of content will be delivered spontaneously in your presentation. Because there are many pros to this mode, professors will ask that your speeches be presented using the extemporaneous delivery method. This mode allows for more natural eye contact, movement, and language choices. It provides the speaker with the ability to respond to audience feedback and flexibility to revert to prior information or answer questions on the fly. 
Also, this mode allows for the conversational ability to speak with your listeners and not at them, which maximizes your audience connection. Although extemporaneous delivery is heavy with prose and is the preferred method for most of the classes taught here at WCU, there are a few cons to consider as well. In order to put your best foot forward with extemporaneous delivery, you will need greater preparation time. Also, this is not the best option when word choice is essential. Now that you have learned about the three modes of delivery, you can begin to make strategic choices about your own speech, including consideration of the pros and cons of each method. You can begin to focus on the remaining two elements of delivery, vocal delivery skills and nonverbal or physical delivery skills.